Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're just doing a little bit of a follow up from my last Coliseum Neptune video. Shout out to the homie Bryce for the request of Double Chopper. Now, um, Double Chopper does this pretty like easily. It is like a two year old content, so to be expected that like most of the newer legends since then should be able to beat it. But looking at this team, the only characters that are truly essential, I would say, are Shanks Crew and Don Krieg and Jin. Um, other than that, you can kind of, re like, Okiku's replaceable literally with anyone that removes bind removal. Um, Corazon's here only for the support of V2 lore for the orb boost. You could probably just bring, like, Colosseum Neptune himself to carry orbs over, as his team is majority cerebral and powerhouse based. Anyway, you could um, replace Okiku with any cerebral or powerhouse unit that removes bind as well. And that will work fine. So notable supports on this team is on Chopper, we have the Straw Hat crew. They remove Bind and Despair by two turns when we inflicted. So that works out quite well with Okiku to remove the rest of the Bind. And then as I mentioned, we have V2 6 plus Law on our Corazon unit. He gives us a 1.75 times orb boost as we can't use an orb boost at the end on Neptune as he has an interrupt. Shanks crew is here for the, his amazing switch ability, his amazing special ability, um, and that he's a Psy unit too. So that helps out quite a lot. Uh, Don Krieg and Jin are amazing for the Jinbei, uh, sorry, the Fisher Tiger stage. They remove the defense up and they also give us an orb boost too, which is great. Their switch ability is incredible too, giving us damage reduction as well as giving themselves a matching orb. So now that we're into the sticky part, let's have a chat about the actual content. So against Jinbei or Big Boss Jinbei, we have that support of the Straw Hats to remove one turn of blind. Sorry, two turns of one, and then Okiku's gonna remove the rest. We can then switch into our Shanks crew. Uh, that way we get an attack boost, and we can just take two turns to take out Jinbei here. Make sure that Shanks crew is in one of your middle slots as well, so that way when you get UC switch, you get the maximum amount of orbs. And make sure Don Krieg is not in that pathway, as when you switch with Don Krieg and Jin, they're gonna give themselves a matching orb too. It's just a nice little way to get more orbs towards the end, especially because, um, we don't really like we get block orbs bomb orbs and tnd orbs now with the zunisha tnd orbs are matching as well and that works incredibly well as we get tnd orbs on that final stage as well shanks crew is going to change the bomb orbs blah 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 you guys will see when we get there so against fisher tiger now we are going to use the switchability of shanks again to give us an attack boost then we can switch with don greg and don Griggs and jin are going to give us that orb boost as well as remove the defense up and literally just with those four orbs from our switch abilities we can take out fisher tiger easy claps Now, as you guys know, Fisher Tiger is gonna res. When he reses, he does give us a full board of unmatching orbs, but again, we have the switchability of Shanks and Craig and Jin. Well, Craig and Jin's in their double form, so we can't use them, but we are gonna switch with Shanks crew to get some more orbs, and then we're gonna use a Chopper Special just for a little bit of healing moving into the final stage. Not overly necessary to use Chopper Special here, to be honest. Um, it's just a little bit of a safety net, to, to be real. Onto the final stage against Jinbei now. Unfortunately, our captains get their specials re-rolled, but like that's not a concern for us at all, as we're just gonna use the switch ability of Krieg and Jin, the switch ability of Shanks crew. That way we get an attack boost and we have damage reduction. Then we can use our Corazon special. He's gonna give us a full heal and the support of Law is going to give us a 1.75 times orb boost that we don't have to worry about in terms of interrupts. Then we can use Shank Screw Special for a 30% HP cut and a 3.5 times chain lock. And we can basically just destroy Neptune here. So we are going to kill the Lackey in the first slot with our Chopper unit. And then we can just use our other units to take down the front three. The back three, they're on random cooldowns, but as you guys can see there, we can uh, easily take them out on the second turn. We have full HP, so even if we do take some shots, it's not the end of the world. So there you guys go. Um, that was a double chopper led team. So if you guys need cotton candy, just like I do, everyone needs cotton candy with this new update. Plus, if you still need Colosseum Neptune, this is a good way to get both of those things with two birds and one stone. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit the like button if you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content I post. Or you have any requests, chuck them in the comment section, hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Like!